What's going on, everybody? This is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy and a very nice, sunny, brisk winter day in Pittsburgh. So I thought it'd be a great idea to be able to get outdoors and do a couple videos. So what we have here is a really good option for our public safety clients that want to use a gas detection meter and they need a solution that's going to be as least expensive as possible. So what we have come up with is the ability for a client to use their own meter and that way they don't have to actually come up with a, a a very expensive solution. So, you know, we do offer complete drone packages that are specially made and designed for drones, but you know, they get, they're all probably going to be over $10,000. So we, ha we have had several clients come up to us and say, look, we have these very nice portable meters and they're expensive. Is there a way that we can mount these to the drone safely and effectively that we can be able to use that? So what we did was we spent a few months, R and D, and testing a bunch of different prototypes and figuring out exactly what is the best solution that we can come up with. So to start off with, what we have here is a one piece design and this does not use the factory landing gear this is an all one piece assembly here that's going to directly bolt to the aircraft this is all carbon fiber it's very light it's very heavy duty this entire assembly will latch and bolt to the aircraft not using the factory landing gear we did this on purpose so that you can be able to get this up to speed and up and running as quick as possible with the least amount of steps. We didn't want you having to deal with hardware, bolts, fasteners that are going to attach to the landing gear and that way it's the easiest thing for you to be able to use consistently. You'll notice here all of these tubes and pieces are very light it's carbon fiber made of high, strong material that's it's going to be very rugged for you to use for a long time. It's all cemented together. It cannot come apart. So that's a really important aspect of everything here. So, and then what we did was we came up with the ideal place to put the meter that serves two purposes. One, it's going to give us the optimum focus distance and zoom capability. We just couldn't come up with something and take this and bolt it to the, directly to the landing gear. It wouldn't be able to focus. The sample tube here is going to get the least amount of prop wash. You'll be able to, to get the best sampling possible. We also have an adjustable mount here that is going to be variable in height that we can use different type of meters and if we need to be able to make a customized bracket for you, depending on if the meter that you have is a lot different from what is in here, then we can be able to come up with that for you. We found that with the H20T camera, with the zoom camera, there is a very limited efficiency range for the camera to be able to focus in on the LED meter. So if it's too far back, or if it's too close, it won't be able to focus in on the display. So we came up with what we consider to be our ideal distance away. Another great thing about this design here is the placement of this meter does not affect the center of gravity much at all. And after we calibrate the center of gravity in the app, this thing is rock steady solid. It, I mean, we can go ahead and bank this as hard as we want, left and right, forward and back, and y'all really fast either way. It's very stabilized. The flight controller knows exactly what to do, so there's no problems at all with stability with this. 99% of the time, you're not going to use this system. You're just going to use the normal system that comes from the factory and then just bolt this on when you need to use your meter. Again, now, is this a perfect solution? It's not a perfect solution, but it does give you the ability to get gases as needed in a very affordable package with spending as little money as possible. There are 
specialized, dedicated drone solutions that we, you, you can put on top of the aircraft that work very well. We sell them, we recommend them, but some agencies cannot afford that and they already have a very expensive meter that they just want to utilize on their drone. So that's what we wanted to be able to come up with and make sure that we came up with a solution that fit those needs. If you're interested in something like this, we have this on our website to be able to sell. Again, it's a customized package for you that we can make. A, a, there's a few different options that we can go over depending upon what you have for a meter. But it is another option in case you just don't have the budget to be able to go ahead with a solution that's $10,000 or higher. So with that said, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Steel City Drone Flight Academy offers the most comprehensive on-site commercial remote pilot training program in the United States. Our team of professional drone instructors has more than 30 years of combined experience and have trained more than 1,000 students to fly drones commercially. We offer on-site training anywhere in the United States. Dave King from Steel City Drones is a pioneer in the drone industry and is one of the most experienced remote pilots with more than 18,000 logged flights and over 10 years of flying experience. After working with more than 800 clients, Dave has taken everything that he has learned and incorporated it into Steel City Drones training program to prepare you to be the best commercial pilot possible. Our most popular training package is a four-day commercial program. Day one, it's an introduction to drones day, an introduction to flying day, equipment familiarization. Day two is all day flying. It's our advanced flying. You learn up to 15 different practice exercises. You learn how to fly manually without any automation. And you're gonna be amazed by the things that you can do by the end of the day. The third day is what we call advanced ground school. We teach you everything that the part 107 test does not. And that's gonna be everything, nuts and bolts from a theory standpoint on how to be able to do flight missions. Everything from flight planning, risk assessments, to wireless communications, how to use visual observers, all the resource management from a theory standpoint. If you wanna really sharpen up how to fly drones commercially, and professionally, this is a day that you cannot miss. The fourth day is a commercial applications day where we're taking the first three days, putting it all together, and we're doing simulated training missions that you would normally do for commercial flying, inspection work, mapping, or they could be search and rescue, monitoring, a lot of different ways that we can go with that tactical day. Depends on who is in the group and what they want to be able to do. They're, they are completely customizable. We also offer everything from one day introduction classes to seven day train the trainer programs tailor made to your specific needs. What sets us apart from other training schools is that we teach you how to fly manually without any automation so that you're prepared to respond to the worst type of situation a pilot can experience. Steel City Drones offers small groups of up to six participants per instructor so that each student gets sufficient one-on-one -on -one instruction. I'm Detective Brent Dukes with Jackson Police Department. Uh, the thing I like most about uh, Steel City Drones on-site training was that from all the way from the setup, the most basic parts of the setup of the drone and the equipment, having an, an expert right there with us to answer any questions we have was so helpful. They offered a comprehensive package including equipment recommendations, training, certifications, study guides, everything that we needed to implement this drone and entire department they provided. Uh, some of the training that we got on site was flight planning, um, emergency drone recovery, should the worst case happen, dual flights uh, with two controllers, uh, one operator controlling the drone itself, the other controlling the camera. I would say that as sophisticated of a piece of equipment as this is, it's only as good as the operator who is running it, and the operator is only as good as the training they've received. Um, because there's no way that I would have figured out some of the capabilities of this equipment had I not had uh, David on site as an expert. I'm pretty capable with this type of equipment. I'm, I'm pretty savvy with technology, but there are things that I learned about this because David was there to answer questions in real time that I never would have learned on my own or even with the other uh, members of my department who were flying it with me. If I didn't have his expertise, 
in real time. I, there's just capabilities that I would be completely missing out on. My name is Robert Warrington. I'm the budget analyst at the State Training School in Eldora, Iowa. Uh, working with Dave was fantastic. He gave us great guidance and what to look for and you know kind of his insights and what would really help for our kind of uh, mission that we have here. And by building this, I think it's going to help the school accomplish what we're looking for. For more information about Steel City Drones training services, please visit our website at steelcityflightacademy.com.